Okay, so let's talk about when you finally do get out. Um, help me with something. <laughs> and, and forgive me, but I am stunned that that 35000 was the highest you were making. And then even when you went back over there, you were making $120,000. You know, all things can sit. I mean, that's a great salary, but it's not life changing. No. So no. I, I got to ask. I'm, I'm sure you've seen the movie Rambo um, and you've spoken already about the drinking. Um, you know, you come home, I, you know, emotionally, I'm sure you've dealt with PTSD. You talked about your friends committing suicide. You know, I remember in the movie Rambo, the, 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 the very first Rambo, there was this emotional scene where oh. he was crying and yeah. he's saying, nothing is over. I was over there. Excuse me? Where he said, like, nothing is over. Nothing. Nothing's That's over. It. Yeah. When I was over there, I was in charge of million-dollar equipment over here. I can't even hold a job as a dishwasher. Is this the emotions that you guys go through? That scene was one of the most accurate scenes I've ever seen in a war movie. I have Rambo quoted on my plaque, my sniper plaque, about how God's never going to make that go away in that later movie. Um, but I, I have Rambo quoted on my sniper plaque that was given to me. And that, that scene in particular where he's like crying and talking about all that stuff, that's the most accurate scene I've ever seen in a war movie was that. Wow. Oh, yeah. You wow. get back and it's like, yeah, it's, it, it's rough. You're, it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. You'd be like, man, I don't know. Like nobody gave a shit really. You know, when you come back and things settle in, then it's time to like, you know, look for a job or try to be normal. And yeah, you realize either you're too different and the things that you talk about when you first get back, like you're used to talking about killing people. And then you start to realize that other people don't, they're like, eh, this is kind of awkward, you know? And mm -hmm. they think, then you feel a certain way about that. So your conversations change, how you interact with people change, how you joke, joke around. You used to joke a certain way and you can't do that here. So you change that way. And it's like, what job wants to hire a guy? Okay, can you work a PowerPoint? No, but I can kill people, but we don't need that here. Next, you know, it, it, it's, it's rough. Damn, you know, and again, my heart goes out to you guys because because you you really put it all on the line for this country and you just broke it down so beautifully. It's like we come home and our qualifications, our skill set is not even applicable to, to get a job here. Like what we were trained to do and what we were entrusted, the million dollars of equipment we were entrusted with. Here it means absolutely nothing. Like, how do you go to sleep without being disgruntled, angry, uh, and feeling as though, and I, and I hate to put it this way, but I don't know another way, but almost betrayed by your country? How That's exactly how you feel, you know? Yeah. I slept at night by drinking copious amounts of alcohol and smoking herbal essence. 